think of home. I mean, that's, uh, you, you know, Memorial Stadium was home for me for a long time. It's just a, a million memories, a million people that we, I worked with in there every day. Something about walking into that stadium that felt like you were a part of something bigger than yourselves. Uh, you know, you see the trophies there, the hallway, and there's all the jerseys go into the locker room. Um, it was just an honor to, to be a part of that. Just every day in there and just coming out, the games were there and come out the music, the, the smells. I mean, it was just, it was the old stadium. It was, it was just, it was our place. The thing that was just wonderful about Memorial Stadium was the grass. Um, they, the groundskeepers just did an incredible job. And I think the games, there's probably two or three that easily come to mind. One is the one that I thought really helped turn around our program where we beat the Bison. 93 where uh, Mike Mooney stole the ball and and we won and uh, and there's so many stories that go along with that particular game the goalposts coming down and uh, and the other goofy thing for me was I was standing there at midfield with Ed Schultz doing a live interview at the end of the game and and everybody tore those goalposts down and they were coming with the goalposts and they were coming right at us and I said stupidly so excuse me on this I said to Ed Ed look out for the damn I said the word damn on live TV look out for the damn goalpost. So when uh, <laughs> I got home, uh, Drew and Jess, my two kids, uh, they didn't congratulate me on the game or anything. We finally beat the Bison after 10, 12 years, whatever it was. And uh, they said, Dad, you swore on live TV. <laughs> so I took a lot of heat at home. But uh, Up in the back hallway, there was a, a, a water jug. My youngest went down the hallway and he's just playing in the water and he's water's everywhere. And Coach Son is like, don't worry. Every kid that has been in this building plays in that and, is, and, 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 and uses that. And I watched it over the years from uh, Colton Linky's kids to, to, you know, Brightbox kids to uh, the nurses. I mean, and everybody did. And I would just chuckle every time they'd go down there and get their little cup and spill it all over everywhere. And, and But that was part of, when I, when I said the most important part about it was family. I mean, that's really what it was. On 79 is when they did the construction uh, internally in Memorial Stadium and added the coaches' offices and in the locker rooms uh, to a limited degree of what it is now. But I remember walking through there and seeing the plywood uh, being put in place and, uh, you know, kind of the construction part of uh, those offices and the locker rooms. And, and there was a wall between two rooms and we said, well, we'll make this the player's lounge. And we took the wall out and it was the coaches. We, we knocked it down physically ourselves one summer. And then we realized the floor in the two rooms wasn't at the same level. So there we were one summer jackhammering the floor out so we could make it flat. Whenever we pulled carpet out or put new carpet in, you know who did it? We did it as a staff. Stadium becomes that kind of symbolic of the place um, where so many things happen. Even in my own family, my son was on the sideline with me. He was a cord boy with the corded headsets. And, uh, <laughs> and he, he grew up around that. You know, and the teams that we've had then going back to the 60s and the 70s, uh, you know, those were Division One programs. Uh, that's where I think the foundation um, had been set and, and then the current program is continuing to build on that foundation and, and it's, it's legitimate. Uh, there's a lot to be proud of.